Christine Ebersol, a renowned actress, has made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. Born in 1953, she grew up in Winnetka, Illinois, and pursued her passion for acting at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. Ebersol's career spans over four decades, during which she has showcased her versatility in various roles. She gained recognition for her work on Broadway, earning two Tony Awards for her performances in 42nd Street and Grey Gardens. These accolades are a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. Apart from her success on Broadway, Ebersole has also made her mark in television and film. She starred in the sitcom Sullivan and Son and appeared in several movies, including Amadeus, Black Sheep, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Ebersole's work has transcended the boundaries of traditional media, and she has also lent her voice to animated series such as Rick and Morty and American Dad. Despite her numerous accomplishments, Ebersol remains humble and committed to her craft. She continues to captivate audiences with her performances, leaving a lasting impression on all who witness her talent. Her legacy as an actress is one that will be cherished for generations to come. Christine Ebersol is a classic star with an impressive career in film, television, and theater. You might know her from her memorable role in the film Amadeus or her Tony-winning performance in the Broadway show 42nd Street. One of her most defining roles, however, was in the show Grey Gardens, where she played Edith Bouvier Beale, both as a young woman and in her later years. This role earned her a second Tony Award. Do you have a favorite performance of Christine Eversoles? Perhaps there's a lesser known fact about her that you find fascinating. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this accomplished actress. Many people don't know that Christine grew up in a creative family, with her father being a general manager of the Detroit Opera House or that she originally pursued a career in pediatric nursing before discovering her passion for acting. As we delve deeper into the life and career of this classic star, we'll uncover more funny, shocking, and sad facts. So, keep watching and share your memories and thoughts with us in the comments below. Raised in Winnetka, Illinois, Christine Ebersol was born into a family where music played a significant role. Her mother, Marion Estelle Churchill, was a pianist while her father, Robert Abernathy Ebersole, worked as a general counsel for Nash Motors. The actress has two siblings, a brother and a sister. Ebersole's first taste of performing came during her high school years at New Trier High School, where she participated in various musical productions. Later, she pursued higher education at McMurray College in Jacksonville, Illinois, before transferring to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. During her time in New York, Ebersol studied under renowned acting coach Uta Hagen, known for her work with famous actors like Jason Robards and Al Pacino. Under Hagen's guidance, the actress honed her skills and developed her unique style. Additionally, Ebersol cites influential figures like Judy Garland and Barbara Streisand as inspirations for her career. She admired these legendary performers for their ability to captivate audiences through both singing and acting. The actress also drew inspiration from watching classic films featuring stars like Betty Davis and Katherine Hepburn. These powerful women left lasting impressions on young Ebersole, shaping her perspective on what it meant to be a successful artist in Hollywood. As a result, Christine Ebersole's upbringing, education, and early exposure to influential figures shaped her path towards becoming a celebrated actress and singer in the entertainment industry. Christine Ebersole is a talented actress who has made a significant impact in the world of entertainment. Born on February 21, 1953, in Winnetka, Illinois, she began her career in the late 1970s and quickly gained recognition for her versatile acting skills. Ebersole has appeared in numerous films and television shows, including Tootsie, Amadeus, The Wolf of Wall Street, and Saturday Night Live. She has also starred in several Broadway productions, such as Grey Gardens and 42nd Street, for which she won Tony Awards. The actress is known for her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. Her performances are often praised for their emotional resonance and authenticity, making her a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Eversole's contributions to the entertainment industry have been widely recognized. She has received numerous accolades, including two Tony Awards, a Drama Desk Award, and a Primetime Emmy Award nomination. Despite her success, Ebersol remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to take on new roles and challenges, inspiring others with her talent and passion for acting. In summary, Christine Ebersol is a highly accomplished actress who has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. 
Her versatile acting skills, emotional depth, and dedication to her craft have earned her numerous accolades and the admiration of fans around the world. Christine Eversole's passion for acting took root in her early years. As a child, she would often put on shows for her family, showcasing her natural talent and love for performance. However, it was during her time at McMurray College in Illinois that she had a pivotal experience. She enrolled in a theater class on a whim and found herself completely captivated by the art of acting. One day, the actress was given a script for a monologue from the classic play The Glass Menagerie. As she delved into the character's emotions and motivations, something clicked for Christine. She realized that acting was not just about performing, but about connecting with the human experience on a deeper level. This realization fueled her desire to pursue a career in acting, and she went on to study at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. From then on, Christine Ebersole's passion for acting only grew stronger. She has since become a beloved figure in the world of theater, film, and television, known for her captivating performances and ability to bring characters to life in a way that resonates with audiences. Despite her success, she remains humble and dedicated to her craft, always seeking new ways to challenge herself and grow as an artist. In 2009, the actress Christine Ebersole took on the role of Elvira in Noel Coward's play Blythe Spirit on Broadway. Her performance was a testament to her versatility and skill as an actress. A few years later, in 2016, Ebersole was nominated for a Joseph Jefferson Award for her work in the musical War Paint at the Goodman Theater in Chicago, Illinois. This recognition further solidified her reputation as a talented and dedicated performer. In her personal life, Christine Ebersole is a proud mother of three children Elijah, May May, and Aaron. Raising a family has no doubt added depth and richness to the actress's life and has likely informed her work on stage and screen. Throughout her career, Ebersole has consistently delivered captivating performances, leaving a lasting mark on the world of theater and entertainment. Her talents and contributions have resonated with audiences and peers alike, and she will no doubt continue to make an impact for years to come. Christine Ebersole, a gifted actress, faced significant challenges early in her career. Financial struggles were a constant companion, making it difficult for her to pursue her dreams. Yet, she remained undeterred, demonstrating a remarkable resilience that would become her trademark. In the highly competitive world of show business, Ebersole encountered skepticism from industry insiders. Despite these obstacles, she refused to let go of her aspirations. Instead, she turned her struggles into opportunities, developing creative solutions to overcome the hurdles before her. One of her early breaks came when she was cast in the Broadway production of On the 20th Century. This classic show not only provided her with a much-needed income, but also gave her the exposure she needed to establish herself in the industry. Ebersole's journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and the human spirit's ability to triumph over adversity. Her story serves as an inspiration to anyone facing challenges in their own lives, demonstrating that, with resilience and creativity, even the most daunting obstacles can be overcome. Interestingly, actress Christine Ebersole shares her birthday with fellow actor William Petersonator in April of the same year. Both actors made their debuts in the theatrical movie Tootsie, marking a significant milestone in their careers. Ebersole played the role of Linda, appearing alongside Gina Davis, who also made her film debut in the same production. Prior to her acting career, Ebersole honed her skills at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, graduating in 1975 as part of its esteemed alumni. Her talent and dedication were evident even then, setting the stage for her successful career in theater, television, and film. Christine Ebersole's career has seen several breakthrough moments that have left a significant impact in the world of theater and film. In 1981, she made her Broadway debut in the musical Angel, which marked the beginning of her successful stage career. However, it was her dual role as Edith Bouvier Beale and Little Edie Beale in the 2006 musical Grey Gardens that truly catapulted her to stardom. This groundbreaking performance earned her numerous accolades, including a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical. The actress's portrayal of the eccentric Anne and cousin of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis was hailed as a career-defining moment by critics and peers alike. Her ability to capture the complexities and nuances of both characters was a testament to her versatility and range as a performer. The show itself was also a critical success, with the New York Times praising it as a darkly funny, sometimes poignant, and always enthralling musical. 
Another notable moment in Eversole's career was her performance in the 2013 Broadway revival of Pippin. Her portrayal of Berth, Pippin's saucy and spirited grandmother, was met with critical acclaim. The actress's rendition of the show-stopping number No Time at All became a highlight of the production and showcased her impressive vocal abilities. Eversole's work in film has also been noteworthy. She received critical recognition for her role in the 21 film The Wolf of Wall Street where she played the wife of Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Jordan Belfort. Her portrayal of the long-suffering Naomi Belfort was praised for its depth and nuance, with The Hollywood Reporter noting that Eversole brings a quiet dignity to the role. In addition to her work in theater and film, Eversole has also made a name for herself as a cabaret singer. She has released several albums and has performed in venues around the world. Her concerts have been described as a delightful mix of show tunes, standards, and contemporary pop songs, and have earned her a devoted following. In conclusion, Christine Eversole's career has been marked by several breakthrough moments that have showcased her versatility and talent as a performer. From her groundbreaking performance in Grey Gardens to her critically acclaimed work in film and cabaret, the actress has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Christine Eversole, an accomplished actress, has a personal connection to the entertainment industry as the aunt of actress Janelle Maloney. Eversole's career includes notable roles in various films and shows. One of her earliest roles was in the film Tootsie, where she made her debut as Linda. Before her acting career took off, Eversole attended McMurray College in Jacksonville, Illinois, graduating in 1975. The college years were formative for Eversole, shaping her future career in the arts. Christine Eversole, a renowned actress, is known for her unique artistic vision and process. She often draws from her personal experiences and worldview to bring depth and authenticity to her roles. Eversole has a knack for immersing herself in her characters, making them relatable and memorable to audiences. In her early life, Eversole developed a love for performing, which led her to study at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. This education provided her with a solid foundation in acting techniques and allowed her to hone her craft. Over the years, she has become known for her versatility, seamlessly transitioning between stage, film, and television roles. One notable aspect of Eversole's approach is her ability to connect with her audience. She has a natural charisma that shines through in her performances, making her characters feel alive and authentic. This connection is evident in her work on stage, where she has won multiple awards for her powerful and moving performances. Eversole's artistic process is deeply rooted in her personal experiences and emotions. She often draws from her own life to inform her characters, creating a sense of depth and authenticity that resonates with audiences. This approach is particularly evident in her work on stage, where she has brought to life complex and nuanced characters that have captivated audiences for years. In addition to her work on stage, Eversole has also made a name for herself in film and television. She has appeared in a variety of classic films and shows, often bringing a unique perspective and approach to her roles. Her ability to adapt to different mediums is a testament to her versatility as an actress. Despite her success, Eversole remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to push herself as an actress, constantly seeking out new challenges and opportunities to grow as an artist. Her commitment to her craft and her unique approach to acting have made her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Christine Eversole, an accomplished actress with a rich heritage, has Swiss German, German, English, Irish, and distant Dutch ancestry. She has built a successful career in the entertainment industry, including a notable role in the classic Broadway production of Oklahoma in 1979, where she played a do Annie at the Palace Theatre. One significant aspect of Eversole's personal life is her dedication to family. She and her husband, William Maloney, have adopted three children, further enriching their lives together. Eversole's career has been marked by memorable performances and a commitment to her craft. Her role as Adu Annie in Oklahoma showcased her talent and versatility, captivating audiences and leaving a lasting impression. In her personal life, Eversole has demonstrated her compassion and love for family by adopting three children with her husband. Together, they have created a loving home and a supportive environment for their family to grow and thrive. In both her professional and personal life, Christine Eversole has proven to be a dedicated and talented individual, leaving a lasting impact on those around her. Christine Eversole, a two-time Tony Award winner, has made significant contributions to the theater industry through her versatile acting skills and powerful vocal abilities.
Her performances have left indelible marks on both audiences and critics alike. Ebersole began her career in television before making her Broadway debut in 1978. However, it was her role as Elizabeth Arden in Warpaint that truly solidified her status as a formidable actress. According to critic Peter Marks of the Washington Post, Ebersole delivered a triumphantly layered performance. The actress's ability to seamlessly switch between various roles is one of her most notable traits. She played dual roles in Grey Gardens, earning her first Tony Award for Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Musical. As reported by Playbill, director Michael Grave praised Ebersole saying, can do anything she could play anybody. Her impact extends beyond just acting. Ebersole's interpretive singing style adds depth to each character she portrays. This unique approach led her to win another Tony Award for her leading role in 42nd Street. In an interview with Theatre Mania, Ebersole stated, Singing is so emotional for me. I feel like I get inside the song and live it. Throughout her illustrious career, Ebersole has paved the way for future performers by demonstrating exceptional range and adaptability. Her influence can be seen in many contemporary musical theater actresses who strive to balance strong dramatic chops with impressive vocals. For instance, Laura Benanti, also a two-time Tony Award winner, cites Ebersole as an inspiration due to her remarkable talent and inspiring work ethic. With numerous accolades under her belt, including Drama Desk Awards and Outer Critics Circle Awards, Christine Ebersole continues to captivate audiences with every new project she undertakes. Indeed, her legacy will remain etched in the annals of American theater history for generations to come. Christine Ebersole, an alumna of New Trier Township High School West in Northfield, Illinois, has built an impressive career in the film industry. She resides in Maplewood, New Jersey, with her family as of October 26. Throughout her career, the actress has been a part of three films that received nominations for the Best Picture Oscar Tootsie, Amadeus, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Among these, Amadeus emerged victorious in the category. This accomplishment showcases her long-standing presence and success in the film industry. Christine Ebersole, a renowned actress, is known for her work on stage and screen, but her life extends beyond the spotlight, encompassing a range of personal values and interests that inform her work. Ebersole is passionate about various causes, including environmental conservation and animal welfare. She has been involved with several organizations dedicated to these issues, using her platform to raise awareness and promote positive change. In her personal life, Ebersole values creativity and self-expression. She enjoys painting and writing as hobbies, often finding inspiration for her work in these activities. Her love of music is also evident in her performances, as she often incorporates singing into her roles. Ebersole's philanthropic efforts extend to supporting the arts and education. She has donated to various theater programs and schools, helping to provide opportunities for aspiring actors and artists. Despite her many accomplishments, Ebersole remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to take on new roles and challenges, always striving to improve and grow as an actress. Her enduring passion for the arts and her commitment to making a positive impact in the world are an inspiration to many. Christine Ebersole was initially not the first choice for the role of Governor Evelyn Tracy in the 1996 film Black Sheep. Glenn Close was originally considered, but due to other commitments, the part went to Ebersole. In the spring of 2006, the actress took on a challenging dual role in the off-Broadway musical Grey Gardens, playing both Edith Bouvier Beale and her daughter, Little Edie. The show was based on the Notorious Maisel's Brothers documentary and received widespread critical acclaim. It opened on Broadway at the Walter Carr Theatre in October of the same year. The actress's performance in Grey Gardens earned her several prestigious awards, including the Obie, Drama Desk, and Drama League Awards. Her success culminated in winning the 27 Tony Award for Actress and a Musical for Grey Gardens. Overall, Christine Ebersole's talent and dedication to her craft have earned her recognition and accolades in the entertainment industry. Christine Ebersole has left an indelible mark in the acting world. With two Tony Awards under her belt, she's proven herself as a force to be reckoned with in theater. Her work in films like Amadeus and TV shows such as Saturday Night Live highlights her versatility and adaptability across various platforms. Ebersole encourages aspiring actors to stay true to themselves. She believes that every individual brings something unique to the table, which can add depth to their roles. In her own career, she has often chosen parts that challenge her comfort zone allowing growth both personally and professionally. 
The actress also emphasizes the importance of continuous learning. Even after years of experience, one must never stop honing their craft. This could mean taking classes, attending workshops, or simply observing life closely. Inspiration strikes when you least expect it. As for the future, Ebersole sees herself continuing to take on diverse roles while supporting emerging talents in the industry. Mentorship is crucial for those starting out, and she hopes to pass on some wisdom gleaned from her extensive journey. Remember, success doesn't come overnight. Persistence pays off, so keep pushing forward even during tough times. As cliche as it may sound, passion truly fuels progress. If you love what you do, it will reflect in your performances, opening doors you didn't know existed. After studying at New York's American Academy of Dramatic Arts, actress Christine Ebersole added another accolade to her resume. In October 22, she received an honorary doctorate from McMurray College in Jacksonville, Illinois. Delighted, she gave an address during the college's homecoming convocation. A few years later, Christine Ebersole took on a significant role in the Broadway production of Steel Magnolias. She starred as Melon, the character portrayed by Sally Field in the movie adaptation. The play ran in March 2005, captivating audiences with its tale of friendship and resilience in a small southern town. Christine Ebersole's journey in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of remarkable. Born in 1953, she began her career on Broadway before transitioning to television and film. Her unwavering passion for storytelling and innovative spirit have allowed her to captivate audiences across various platforms. Throughout her illustrious career, Ebersole has taken on diverse roles that have showcased her impressive range as an actress. From her Tony Award-winning performance in 42nd Street to her memorable turn in the sitcom Sullivan and Son, she has consistently delivered compelling performances that resonate with viewers. This classic actress has also left an indelible mark on the music scene, releasing several albums that highlight her beautiful voice and songwriting abilities. In addition, she has made notable appearances in films like Amadeus and Black Sheep, further solidifying her status as a versatile talent. Ebersole's work transcends generations and mediums, inspiring countless individuals along the way. Through her dedication to her craft and willingness to push boundaries, she demonstrates the incredible power of creativity and perseverance. As we reflect on her contributions to the entertainment industry, it becomes clear that her legacy will continue to thrive for years to come. After her successful run in the 2001 revival of 42nd Street, which earned her a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical, Christine Ebersole continued to make waves on Broadway. In 2003, she received another Tony nomination, this time for Best Actress in a Featured Role in a Play, for her work in the revival of the comedic play Dinner at Eight by George S. Kaufman and Edna Ferber. However, it was her groundbreaking performance in the 27 musical Grey Gardens that truly solidified Christine Ebersole's status as a tour de force in the theater world. She took on the challenging dual role of Little Edie Beale and Edith Bouvier Beale, delivering a captivating and poignant portrayal that resonated with audiences. Her exceptional talent did not go unnoticed, earning her a second Tony Award for her outstanding work in the production. Before making a name for herself on stage, However, Christine Ebersole made her television debut, gracing small screens across the nation. While specific details regarding her early TV appearances remained sparse, her undeniable charisma and charm were evident even then, setting the stage for what would become a storied career in entertainment. Christine Ebersole, a successful actress, has experienced a tragic loss in her personal life. In 2007, her sister, Susan Ebersole, passed away due to complications from diabetes. This loss was a difficult time for Christine, but she continued to pursue her career and honor her sister's memory. The actress has not let this personal tragedy define her. Instead, she has used it as motivation to work harder and make a difference in the world of entertainment. The memory of her sister remains a significant part of Christine's life, and she continues to keep Susan's spirit alive through her work. The loss of a loved one is never easy, but Christine has shown great strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Christine Ebersole is an accomplished actress with a career that spans over four decades. She was born in 1953 and started her career on Broadway, where she quickly made a name for herself with her powerful voice and commanding presence. Throughout her career, the actress has taken on a variety of roles, showcasing her impressive range and versatility. She has starred in numerous Broadway productions, including Grey Gardens, for which she won a Tony Award in 42nd Street. 
In addition to her work on stage, Christine Eversole has also appeared in numerous films and television shows. She has had recurring roles in popular series such as Sullivan and Son and Search Party, and has appeared in movies like The Wolf of Wall Street and Black Sheep. Despite her many accomplishments, Christine Ebersole remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to take on new roles and challenges, inspiring audiences with her talent and passion. As fans of this classic actress, we can appreciate her many contributions to the world of entertainment. Her work has left a lasting impact, and she continues to be a source of inspiration for aspiring performers. So, let's take a moment to celebrate Christine Ebersole's impressive career and legacy. Share your thoughts on your favorite performances and moments in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.